Hi, Eloise here. This week on Clinic Chats, I want to talk about rest. So I've spoken before in the Clinic Chat series, and you can always catch up with the whole playlist, about how sometimes we can overdo it. So we do too much healing or we do too much of something. Anytime we overtax the body, the body has a natural mechanism of trying to slow us down again. So the nervous system starts to kind of pull back a little bit and go, you're overdoing it. You know, and that could be mentally, emotionally, physically. And, you know, it's like I ran a marathon once. <laughs> I used to run a lot of half marathons. And you, the classic is that marathon runner hitting the wall. And having experienced it myself, <laughs> it's, like, it's a very strange thing. But we can almost have like mini versions of that day to day. So we just overtax ourselves. And so we can be at our desk and we're talking away and we're doing a task and then you start making more and more errors and you can't quite focus and you've overtaxed yourself and your body's saying, I would like to go and do something else. This has been too mentally challenging or too physically challenging or too whatever it is. I need to do something different. I need to go for a walk. I need to go and hug a tree or I need to go and have a snack, you know, or a cup of tea or just taking a moment to breathe. So our natural mechanisms are there to stop us overtaxing ourselves. You will get a message (laughs) telling you in some way, shape or form if you've overdone it. And we need to honour that. So sometimes we can do that with our healing as well. So we overdo it. Like I always joke, you know, if you're one of those people, don't do this. Who does Reiki on a Monday and acupuncture on a Tuesday and Wednesday they have this and Thursday they do that. It's it's too much. Like there may be times in your life when your body needs that for short periods of time and that's fine. (laughs) And it's great to get regular work. But every now and again, you need to rest. You need a day off. You need to just sit on your sofa and chill. (laughs) We need to do something different. We need some space. We need to either switch the brain off or, you know, do something different. Um, I'm on a training course at the moment and we've been doing a lot of group healing work and we're all jumping on each other's calls. And it just got to a point yesterday I'm like, I, I cannot do it anymore. <laughs> like, I don't have to be on another call for a couple of days. So I'm like, I'm going to have a couple of days off because it just got too much. It was getting too intense for me. And I'm like, okay, I need to back off. I need some time to process, you know. And even <laughs> just on these group calls, supporting each other, we're also processing, we're also healing. And we can't forget that. And some people have been on every single one. I have no idea how they're wired. But I need sleep. And (laughs) I need rest. And we all do. So, I mean, this is only a short period of time. And obviously, we can take some time off afterwards as well. So I'm not having a go at my colleagues that are dedicated to being there for everybody. It's amazing. But (laughs) my system isn't taking it. And we need to honour that. We need to honour when our bodies have had enough, when we need some space off, when we need to take a break. And, you know, taking a break can look different to everybody. Yep, sometimes we do need like a week off or a month off. I was joking with someone today about having a year off. (laughs) And just having some space. Now, I have a week off at some point before Christmas, can't remember exactly when, and I've got all of these things that I want to do. But I will make sure I'll have at least one day where I can sleep as long as I want, I've got like prepped food in the fridge, or I'll get a takeaway, so I don't have to like do anything, and I can just relax and rest, like totally. Because, you know, being on your own, you haven't even got someone to make your cup of tea. You have to do everything. And sometimes it's like, oh, I just 
just want a day. <laughs> I can just press a button and someone delivers me a cup of tea. <laughs> so who knows? Maybe I'll order tea in. I don't know. <laughs> but, you know, rest can be sitting on the sofa. It can be sleep. It can be going for a walk. It could be doing something creative. So I used to draw a lot and I don't tend to do that anymore. And I'm like, at the moment, I'm kind of like, maybe, maybe doing some more drawing might be fun just to do something different that's not, you know, has no purpose. <laughs> it can be relaxing. But I, I've also started picking up all these fun colouring books where you can just fill in all the, um, all the combined fullness books or adult colouring books. Um, and it's just sitting like randomly starting to colour in. It's like, I'm trying to find one that's actually got something on it. It's like just colouring shapes in. It's something different to do for the brain. It's something that I'm not doing on a regular basis. So it gives my nervous system rest. And it's like looking at your life and go, OK, what do I what did I used to do that I enjoyed that I haven't had space for? It could be playing an instrument. It could be taking up a hobby. It could be, you know, it could be something else. Like I work a lot, but I dance a lot. Like whenever I've got time, I go dancing and that's fun size, you know, <laughs> exercise in my body. But I can also switch off when I dance. And that's rest in a way even though I'm still physically doing stuff and I always joke you know when I'm dancing for four or five hours it's like doing a marathon so <laughs> it's like sometimes you can hit the wall dancing as well <laughs> so it's really just taking that in doing that I have to check in every now and again and go okay do I need a snack do I need to <laughs> like have a walk you know do I need to do something different do I just need to go and sit down for a bit even the fun things we may need a rest from. It's good for our bodies to do different things. So take a moment and you might want to sit and journal about this. That could be another way of taking rest. It could be you meditate. That could be a way of taking rest. But look at how you can incorporate rest into your life. Because as well as doing the healing work, we need space to process it. We need time to rest. The body is not designed to be go, 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 go. The day after day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year. We need, we need rest. So look at your life and see how you can build rest in. Even if you need to schedule it. You know, I quite often have, and my friends laugh at me for this, I like have that duvet day, which is what I'll plan in for my week off. <laughs> I still call it that. Um, it's just like, okay, this is day I'm dedicating to me and rest. You know, whatever I feel like doing. And sometimes on my duvet day, I literally just, you know, eat in bed and I just, you know, just like, Try not to make any crumbs and change the bed the next day. But, it, you know, it's just literally, oh, the sun's going out, hi. Uh, like taking that space. And other days I feel like going for a walk. I feel like, you know, walking to a coffee shop and grabbing a drink. You know, just doing something feels nurturing to the body. So ask your body what would be nurturing to it. What would be restful for it? And incorporate some of that into your life. And if you're feeling overwhelmed, you're feeling like you've just had enough, maybe you need a duvet day. <laughs> we can feel guilty about not being productive and doing things, but often that's when the best ideas come in that solve all the other problems that we're stressed out about. So we need rest for many reasons. So what's your favourite way to rest? Pop it in the comments, share with everyone else. You might give us some really great ideas that other people haven't thought of. And um, I'll catch up with you soon. Lots of love. Bye.